and we didn't really know it, but this has actually become the hottest real estate market in the United States right now. Schweitzer Mountain Resort and there's all kinds of stuff up here. We met a friend up here who ran in a race. They have hiking, bike riding, skiing, a lot of cool recreational activities up here. Nox! <laughs> Nicholas Cook. I, gotta be honest. I say Nicholas Next Cook. Piece. I think. No. Come on, Gaia! <laughs> we are not too terribly far away from our top three men and women finishers in the 26k you can probably see that in the background you can see the bay uh, that's down the bay at sand point uh, right below us so just beautiful area here total outdoor paradise and we're loving it so far in northern idaho <laughs>
City Beach Organics. We're about a block from the City Beach of Sandpoint, Idaho. And it's pretty cool to have healthy options. It tastes like we're drinking chocolate shakes, but inside of these is like spinach, banana, stevia, coconut milk, all kinds of good stuff for you. So that's, it's good to know there's healthy options up here too. Hey guys, so we got some sun today actually, if you can't tell from the look on my face, but we just had an amazing uh, seafood meal, or actually we had, Jenny, you had some... Rainbow trout. Rainbow trout from caught locally here in Idaho, and I had the walleye, which is always amazing, but especially when it's locally fresh. And then we had a cheesecake with fresh locally made strawberry uh, glaze on it, which was amazing as well. So it's been an amazing night. We're really enjoying this area, really beautiful. Um, just love the vibe here and stuff, so it's been an awesome day. Hey guys, kind of having a super uh, crappy moment. So there was this place that for probably the last 20 years, Jenny and I were super excited about, um, just really had high hopes of maybe being able to set down roots and live in this place. And then we finally got to this place and it just feels like it's nothing but bad vibes. Um, the place just within the last couple of years, uh, tons and tons of people have moved in and it kind of like, I mean, I don't know, again, this is personal preference, but it feels just like urban sprawl now. Like it's nothing but chain restaurants and it just kind of lacks the, the authenticity and the character of that kind of small mountain town feel anymore. And it was just, I don't know what it is. Just trying to vent a little bit and be honest and transparent because it just kind of came to a head today and it's kind of frustrating because we had really high hopes for this place and then when we came here it's just like uh, everything has just been negative and it's kind of frustrating and so we're trying to be positive about this and say okay at least we we you know we're having clarity now and we're just seeing that this door closed this is not the place you know there's a there is a better place out there um, but it's just one of those things where, you know, things look great and then you come check a place out and it's just not what you expected. So that's it. Um, you know, we're going to keep looking, we're going to keep, uh, searching, but it doesn't look like we're really finding, um, that, you know, mountain town outdoor four seasons place that we really want to set down roots. Um, so I don't know, we're just, we're just kind of getting to that point of saying, Maybe we got to keep searching. Maybe we got to wait a couple years. Maybe just real estate markets and timing is really bad right now. It just seems like a lot of those things all at once. So we're thinking maybe it's time. Maybe we just go travel for a couple years overseas and then see where things are at then because it just feels like doors are closing right now. And it's just a, it's just a really shitty feeling. Okay, guys, before you watch this next clip, just remember we got a really good deal. And just because our kids are grown doesn't mean that we still can't have fun.
Hey guys, so this is wrapping up our tour of Northern Idaho. We've just had an amazing time up here. We love this part of the country. Um, and we didn't really know it, but this has actually become the hottest real estate market in the United States right now. Uh, with COVID and people just trying to get out of the cities, uh, this place is blowing up because people are looking for that, you know, outdoor lifestyle, small mountain town, four seasons living. Um, and this really has it all up here. Um, if, it's, uh, if it's kind of bumpy and crazy, you can probably see in the background we're riding a gondola up to the top of this mountain here. But um, I think what it was, there was one part, you know, you had that one part you saw me, I was kind of upset. Um, we drove through this area 24 years ago and there's an area that we were just, we really fell in love with. We wanted to move there eventually, retire. And you know, now the secret is out, that place blew up and it was kind of taken off our list after you know 24 years of dreaming. But that doesn't mean we didn't find some other ones because there are some other really good places here, right Jenny? Right, I'm so glad we took this road trip. Yeah. Because we've discovered so much beautiful towns with such nice small town people. and. Yeah, I could see myself uh, living there long term. Yeah, and I think we've got maybe three or four on our list now. Some of them we put on our short list of areas we can end up in in the future. So we're excited about that. But we kind of made the decision. We were, uh, we were almost, you know, we were feeling like, should we pull the trigger because of the real estate frenzy right now up here? But we said, you know what, let's just have some patience. We don't know what's going to be in store for the next couple of years. It's better to be patient and just discern and rather than you know jumping into something we don't want to do so we're just going to take our time on that and we'll see what's in store but don't worry guys we got more we're going to be heading over into montana next and then you're going to get a little glimpse of jenny and i's uh childhood days our hometown days growing up a long time ago I can't wait. yeah it's going to be kind of crazy to see where we came from but as always guys stay crazy <laughs>